Today we're going to read the book called Curious George Haunted Halloween. This year, George was spending Halloween in the country. The last autumn leaves were falling. George and the man with the yellow hat were busy raking. Mrs. Rankins rode by on her bicycle. Halloween's here. Hang on to your hats, she shouted. Happy Halloween, Mrs. Rankins, said the man. George was curious. Why would he need to hang on to his hat? George went to the Rankins' farm. There were so many pumpkins. His friends, Allie and Bill, were there too. Hang on to your hats, said Bill. George and Allie were confused. Why was everyone saying that? Haven't you heard of the legend of no noggin? Belle asked. They hadn't. Then Bill told them the spooky story. A long time ago, there was a scarecrow perched by old lonesome tree. It had a big pumpkin for a head and a hat on top. But one Halloween, the pumpkin went missing. From then on, everybody called the scarecrow no noggin because it had no head. No noggin was angry. What good a hat without a head? That's why every Halloween night, no noggin shows up and kicks people's hats off. George was spooked. A headless scarecrow ghost. Don't worry, said Bill. Just make sure you hang on to your hat on Halloween. George went home with his pumpkin. He wanted to see his friend and find out more about no noggin. It's just a legend, George, said the man. A tall tale, a ghost story, it's not real. But George wasn't so sure. George and his friend decided to carve a jack-o'-lantern. George tried to get his mind off ghosts, but he needed to know if no noggin was real. The next night was Halloween. George and Allie were hiding near old lonesome tree. They were going to catch no noggin on camera. Suddenly they saw a shadow. Could it be no noggin? George took a photo. But it was only Bill in his wizard costume. Then George and Allie had an idea. Bill could help catch no noggin with his wizard hat. Bill stood near old lonesome tree. He walked back and forth and waited for no noggin to kick his hat. Suddenly, Bill's hat flew off his head. George and Allie chased the moving hat into a cave. Inside the cave, they found Bill's hat and Jumpy Squirrel and lots of other hats, all filled with acorns. There was no headless scarecrow. It had been Jumpy all along. Jumpy and his squirrel friends had taken the hats to collect acorns. George and his friends had solved the mystery, and they even had proof to show everyone the
the truth behind the legend of no noggin. Well, maybe after Halloween. Now it was time for George to put on his costume and join his friends for trick-or-treating. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for watching. For more interesting videos, subscribe this channel and press the bell button for notifications. See you later.